So today we're going to look at drawing 3-4, the uh, template. And so this is going to take advantage of a couple of AutoCAD features we've learned, including uh, multiple layers. We're going to look at construction geometry and some basic drawing tools like fillet, camphor, and mirror. So the way we're going to approach this drawing is to start from the middle point and then work our way out, since a lot of the dimensions are specified from this center position. We can see, for example, this circle location to the bottom left, and also the uh, hole in the bottom, or sorry, in the upper right, and so on. So it'll be a little bit easier and we'll have to do a lot less mental math um, if we start from this as 0, 0 in AutoCAD. So we're going to start slightly opposite from the way we've done this in the past, um, where, so, um, before we get into drawing, actually, we're, we're going to just do a few quick settings. Uh, we want to make sure that OSnap is disabled, for at least for the beginning. Um, and we want to make sure our grid settings are 0.25, so we get relatively fine detail. And our snap is going to be 0.125, or 1 8 of an inch. So the first feature that we're going to draw is going to be the center circle. Um, and that's going to let us add construction geometry that will make the rest of the model easier. So we'll start with that circle. We're going to specify the center point here, a diameter by typing D of 3.25. Um, and then we're going to do, uh, to enable construction geometry, we're going to set up uh, the size of the center mark with the dim send command. So right now it defaults to 0 0.09. We want to make that negative 0. 0.09. And what that will do when we type dim center is create the full center mark that we love to see here. Um, so now you'll notice if you do it just by, um, if you just click or run the command dim center in your default layer, then you get this, um, all this geometry specified in your default layer, which is not very helpful. So what we want to do is switch to our center line layer, do the same command. Um, dim center here. So switch to center line. Dim center. And now we have our geometry specified on the correct layer. So we just want to make sure to be on the correct layer as we're doing these drawings. So the next step is going to be to add the two other circles that we know the positions of. So the first, the smaller one, is at um, a position of negative 2.5 in x, um, and it's going to be 1.5 up in y. We know the diameter of this is 0.75, and so now we have this circle here. We'll add another one at the bottom, which is at a position of also negative 2.5 in x, and it's now going to be negative 2.625 which is 2.63, but um, basically 2 and 5 eighths of an inch. And finally, the diameter of this circle is going to be 1.25. Now we can switch to our center layer, do dim center, repeat, and then we get our nice center marks here. So with the reason we're doing it this way is because um, it's, it's going to be easier to, to verify visually that our outside lines are correct based on these known reference points. Um, these points are specified directly in dimensions on the drawings, so we're more likely to draw these correctly. So just try and keep that in mind as a general principle. We're looking for draw the features that are easiest to get correct first. Sometimes that's the outline, sometimes that's internal features, and then start, you can work your way to the extrapolated features then later. Okay, so now we're going to switch to our Sorry, we're going to switch to zero, or a default or visible layer. And we're going to just start drawing the outline. So we know, we'll start with the line command. We know that we're going to be um, at a height of 2.25. And we want to go over. So first we want negative 2.5. <coughs> negative 2.5, zero. We can do this as relative dimension. Um, and actually, let's extend this. We want to actually go a little bit farther. 
um, we'll see here, we want to go negative 2.5 plus the radius here. So this position here is actually negative 3.25. So draw a line, um, start at 2.25. Um, we'll go negative 3.25, 0. Then we're going to, come, going to come down on here all the way to 0. Go over 1 inch, and that's because we have 4.25 minus 2.5 minus 0.75 gives us this distance here. So go over. Finally, uh, we know that the total distance here is going to be 4.25, so we're going to go to negative 4.25 in our y as well as x, and then come back over here. So now we have half of our outline drawn. Um, and at this point, we're ready to start doing advanced features. So we know, based on the drawing, our fillet specifications, we're going to have fillets of 0.75 inches in, two, in these places. So I'm going to start by typing fillet. Uh, we want to specify a radius of 0.75. Radius of 0.75. And now we also want to specify M for multiple, that's going to let us do more than one fillet in a row. So here, that'll let me click and repeat, and now as soon as I'm done I can hit escape, and that gives us our nice fillets. The next step is to do camfering, so we'll type camfer, um, specify with D our distances, this is going to be 0 0.75 here, 0 0.75 by 0 0.75, so enter 0.75 and 0.75, Fill it these two, or sorry, camfer these two, and now that outside geometry is complete. Okay, so now we're going to draw the internal pockets here. So we have this rectangular pocket with a small fillet on the inside, and the overall dimensions of 1.625 by 0.75. So we know that this corner is aligned with its uh, 2.5 over and aligned with our origin at zero. So we can start a rectangular feature at that point. Then all we need to know is the overall dimensions. In this case, our relative dimensions are going to be negative 0.75. And we want to go down uh, negative 1.625. And fortunately, we'll try that one more time. So we're going to go here and we can do at negative 0.75 and negative 1.65. And now we have the rough shape of the pocket. Next, we want to do our fillet. We need to specify the radius because the current radius is 0.75, remember. This radius now has to be 0.25. We're going to hit M for multiple. And now we can fill it all these objects nice and quick. So that completes our small inside pocket. Okay, And so at this point, it's uh, somewhat up for debate what the best strategy is to complete the remainder of the drawing. You have two choices. You can either uh, draw the mirrored pocket here, this guy, which crosses our center line, or we can mirror our geometry currently and then draw that afterwards. For a small feature like this, it probably doesn't matter. If this was a very complex feature, then it might be worth your time to draw one half of the profile and then mirror it. Okay, so to do that, let's say we're going to take that second strategy. We want to select only geometry that we want to mirror, which means basically everything over here, including this, but we don't want to mirror the central circle. So once we have that selected, we just type mirror and now we can just select the mirror line. We want to say no for erase source objects. And now all our nice outside geometry is mirrored. So at this point, we can draw this internal box. Um, we know that the outside dimensions are 3.25 by 1.25. And it is symmetrical and aligned with 
these circles here. So, we want to draw a rectangle. We know that if it's 3.25 and aligned with this circle, that on one side it's going to be 1.6525. So we're going to draw our rectangle here, and then go to the opposite side, 1.625. Um, or we can just use our relative size and we can go 3.25 um, and negative 1.25. Okay, so now we have our pocket. Next we're going to do camphor. We want to specify our distance. If we recall from the drawing, um, our distances are going to be uh, here 0.25 by 0.25. Now, um, again, we can do M for multiple, and that will speed up these multiple campers. And there you have it. We have our center pocket. We have the circle. We have our center marks specified. And so everything is drawn on its correct layer and to the correct dimension. So at this point, now, let's say our drawing standard says that um, we want to move our origin to the lower left corner. Well, we've done everything in a way that's convenient for us, but now we just have to move this geometry so that um, that origin point lies approximately at this intersection. So we can accomplish that with the move command. And the key concept here is that we want to specify a base point for our movement. So you can see I've got the cursor aligned with that bottom point. Um, it's easy because of uh, our uh, snap grid settings, but I could also use um, object snap to try and create an extension like this as well. So then I can just move over to the origin. Now all of our geometry is nicely moved and we have whichever origin standard we like. 2, 5. So we're going to draw our rectangle here and then go to the opposite side, 1.625. Um, or we can just use our relative size and we can go 3.25 um, and negative 1.25. Okay, so now we have our pocket. Next we're going to do camphor. We want to specify our distance. If we recall from the drawing, um, our distances are going to be uh, here 0.25 by 0.25. Now, um, again, we can do M for multiple, and that will speed up these multiple campers. And there you have it. We have our center pocket. We have the circle. We have our center marks specified. And so everything is drawn on its correct layer and to the correct dimension. So at this point, now, let's say our drawing standard says that um, we want to move our origin to the lower left corner. Well, we've done everything in a way that's convenient for us, but now we just have to move this geometry so that um, that origin point lies approximately at this intersection. So we can accomplish that with the move command. And the key concept here is that we want to specify a base point for our movement. So you can see I've got the cursor aligned with that bottom point. Um, it's easy because of uh, our uh, snap grid settings, but I could also use um, object snap to try and create an extension like this as well. So then I can just move over to the origin. Now all of our geometry is nicely moved and we have whichever origin standard we like.